I'm Kalina Strinos and right now in your 13 Action News update, people living here in the valley say they hear illegal fireworks going off daily. Clark County officials say between June 1st and the 18th, iSpyFireworks.com received nearly 800 complaints. The Clark County Fire Department tells us if someone is caught using or in possession of illegal fireworks, they will be fined between $250 to $1,000. The fireworks will also be taken away and they will be responsible for the cost of disposal. A new lawsuit is expected to be filed today against the state employment office. Back in May, attorney Mark Thurman filed a lawsuit demanding Dieter open up the PUA website. Now he's filing an amended legal complaint demanding Dieter begin paying his clients, all of them frustrated PUA claimants. Dieter says most of the pending issues with PUA involve claimants who may be eligible for regular unemployment benefits. The local transgender and black communities uniting for equality holding a march in downtown Las Vegas Sunday. Black transgender women are among the most at risk to be subjected to violence or get killed. According to the Human Rights Campaign, at least 15 transgender people have been killed just this year. They say those numbers are often unreported because police will misgender the victims. Checking on the week ahead, we are going to see some toasty conditions continuing. 107 once again today and will warm by a few degrees, bringing us closer to 110 degrees on Tuesday. So through the Colorado River, Colorado River Valley and Death Valley, you could see those conditions closer to 115 or 120 degrees. Not much relief in the next seven days. We are close to 108 on Wednesday, a couple of extra clouds and those overnights only dropping into the low 80s. All right, Kelsey, thank you so much. You can always get the latest news at KTV.com or KTV mobile app, our Roku channel, and also the latest version of Apple TV.